love. Is that easy to show? Maybe sometimes it is and sometimes it's not. What do you think? When we love other people, sometimes that's a real challenge. Loving God, that's also a challenge. But we understand that God has already written in his word commandments that all people should love God. Now, God does love us. He's proved that through Jesus Christ. As he came to this earth, died, was buried, and rose again, and went back to heaven. But in the history of Israel, before he was ever on earth, God had written to the Jewish people those Ten Commandments. God wrote it with his own hands on stone, permanent commands. And there were four on one tablet, six on another, that all came down to two commands. And in the New Testament, in Mark chapter 12, he takes those commandments and tells to the Jewish people at his time. He says, verse, chapter 12, verse 30 and 31, he says, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment, and the second is like, namely this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. Now that's very interesting how that Jesus himself has shown to us that we can love God. We can keep his commandments. Can we? It's really not easy to show love. It's very hard for us to do that. And the reason is because all of us are selfish. Sometimes we're very self-centered and we have a think so much of ourselves. But if we can get our self-centeredness out of the way, then perhaps we can love others. Now, God has told us that we can show love to God and love to others. That's his command to us, to love God first, and second, to love each other. That's what he's commanded us to do. Okay, that's the command, but how do we do it? We try, and yet they respond against us in a bad way, so then we get upset. Maybe we try to show someone nice, and then they take revenge against us or something. But you know what? Through all of world history, as God has watched people all through the ages, Jewish people have failed, us Gentiles, we have failed. God has seen it all. And still, God loves us. And that is how he has proved that through the death of Jesus Christ on the cross, that was the greatest demonstration of love. You see, God had created all of these people. He had seen all of the rejection of Jesus Christ and how they tortured him and put him on that cross and those crown of thorns on his head and those nails piercing his hands on the cross. And through that blood running down his eyes, he could see every person standing there who put him there and he could still say, Father, forgive them. Wow, talk about love. That's the best love that's ever been shown in the entire history of the world. So the next time you think somebody's against you or they're trying to use your name in a bad way, stab you in the back, let's think of God's example. We need to show love. But how can we do it? It doesn't come from ourselves, But Christ in us, Yes, then we can love, because when we love him for what he's done for us, then it's easier to love other people. We can't do it ourselves. But when God loves us and we accept him and his son, then we can show love to other people. Thank you.